playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. What's up guys? It's Mark and Key. Uh, we're doing something we actually haven't done before, and we're revisiting a game that we quit last uh, Halloween. So, uh, say hello, Key. Hi there, guys. Uh, we have not played this in quite some time, so this is going to be very interesting. We, we, oh, did this, we did this as a, a one-off for Halloween, and it wasn't until after like I had fucking made a fool of myself that I realized there was a way to actually do it, which involves buying power-ups and shit like that. Uh, so I did some practicing, and uh, because we're doing this properly this time, we're gonna show, we're gonna watch the opening sequence that they have. <clears throat> Do it. Stinker City, 2042 A.D. Ah, but Burger Jeff should have come out on top in relation to elections. You know, there was an infamous criminal gang that has escaped from the local correctional facility and begun looting the city clean. This just in, the crime gang has planted a bomb on the local news station, Potato News, all personnel inside the building are advised to flee the scene, and I quote, like their life depends on it. <laughs> and they blew up. He turned into mashed potatoes. Now only one man can save Stinker City from further destruction. Jacob Bentspine, the Warlock. Welcome back to Warlock Bentspine. I'm gonna show you how it's done. You little fucker. So I've been doing a little bit of training on this. Uh, we there is so I've filled up all of the uh, the fucking power ups you can get except for one. Yeah. This is one I wanted to wait for you. It's called the color matrix. You know how like Enjoying shitty the graphics the... look? Yes. This makes Make everything worse. look even worse. This is something you should not buy. Yep, refund immediately. You ready for this? Oh my god, what are we doing? So do you see the colors now? Yes. They're a little different from last time. And everything's just uglier. So, when we when I played this last, or it was for Halloween, like I said. Uh, because for some reason I thought this was going to be a spooky game involving a warlock. <laughs> but there was no warlock, except for, I guess... Technically, I'm a warlock, but barely. Um, as Jeff so eloquently put it, it's, uh... Oh, what was it? Dr. Seuss's Patton Oswald? Yeah, that's what we... That's what we... That's what he said. So, um... And that's what I'm agreeing to. <laughs> yeah, after after that huge embarrassing failure last time, where uh, we quit because we couldn't beat any of the... We couldn't even find any of the bosses. Uh, I decided I was going to rectify that and start training. So I spent the last several months after Halloween because this isn't going to come out for a bit. But um yeah, I've been uh, I've been practicing like sh like crazy on this. And uh so like I've got a shitload of coinage now. I'm at one life, but that's okay. I'm I've, I'm feeling pretty confident here. Oh yeah, you can also do this little dash move I didn't know was a thing. Uh <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I've, uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm hella strong right now. Uh, because you can buy power-ups for your health as well as your abilities. And, uh, yeah. So, Key, you're, you're, I'm excited for you to be the one that gets to join me on this one. Because, uh, as you recall, Jeff didn't want to play this to begin with. No, at Jeff all. Was, he... <laughs> Jeff was a little he bit of a bitter bitch when we played this game. game. You despised it really bad. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, last time when we played, when I played this game, like I was only, I wasn't able to get anywhere. Like I, I would maybe get to the the midway cross in and each level, just... and then I would just fucking get annihilated. But um, the steamy piles of shit are still killer, no matter what. Uh, but now I'm actually able to get, like, here's that midway point I was talking about. But I can actually, I've, I've, I've been to and beaten the bosses, so I'm, I'm actually feeling really good about our chances here to do this in one go. Because I don't know if you noticed, those, those laser lights are barely even getting to me. Because I'm a pro now. I also found out you can destroy the lasers. Um, didn't know that the first time around. Uh, so the first time we played this key, as you recall, was just a shit show. 
funny shit show. Now it's a multicolored shit show. I gotta be honest, I hate this. I like I imagine this is exactly what the 80s looked like. This is what you imagine the 80s looked like. This is exactly what the 80s looked like in my head. I've seen Stranger Things, it's all bright and flashy. <laughs> you think it's all about bright and flashy from the 80s. Yeah, that's the only re that's that's the only character development that you got during the 80s was that everything was bright and colorful. Oh shit. Well, like and the reason why was because everybody was on the, you know, Colombian booger sugar that was going on thanks to uh um, especially the children. It was George Young. Thanks a lot, George Young Boston, Jr. Boston George. Rest in peace. That got dark, Key. Holy shit. Well, he ceased. He died, dude. At the beginning of this year, actually. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I wonder who went to his funeral, because whoever went to his funeral, you know he had sold them, uh, like, sold them cocaine. <laughs> you know, family members don't count, I suppose. I God damn it. So. I keep running into the poops. It's okay. It's shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so much more fun colored here. In the other, in the original one, this guy's just a fucking like shit brown. Ew. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. Fuck. No. Damn it. Damn. That was ah. So as you notice, I bounce around a little bit now. Uh, when I hit the, the bottom. It's one of the best power-ups I ever bought. And, oh. I mean, I say that I've bought all the power-ups, so... I don't know how much that uh, actually matters. One of the one of the better power-ups I got was the, uh... It's like leeches the dead... Like, the energy from the dead things. So every so often I'll get a little boost in power. I don't know why I'm still destroying everything. I don't need to actually destroy everything. I've got money. I've got hella coin. Got a lot of money. I do. I got more money on this game right now than I do in my entire bank account. <laughs> God, if that was the case, I'd probably kill myself. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'd definitely, I'd definitely kill myself if that's all I had in the bank right now. Cause I mean, what, what are you gonna do at that point? Like when you have that little, like financial stability in your life? Yeah, uh, sucks. Honestly, I mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I've definitely been there. There's definitely been points in my life where I'm at that. But like, I'm almost 30. Like, there could at this point in my life, I need to. I should have more than 236 dollars in my bank account. Trust me, I've been there, and it sucks. Yeah, but now you're Mr. Genius. That's going to be a doctor. Doctor, yeah, right. We're going to call you Doctor Keenus. Dr. Keenus, that's got a ring to it, actually. See, the key the key part is because he's key, and the nist part comes from penis. It rhymes, you see. All right, Key, are you ready? Let's do it. For the first time on our show, we made it the boss in Warlock Bent Spine. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking asshole. Hmm. I like his mohawk, I actually do. He's kind of a punky, a punky boy. It's like a steampunk kind of thing. Well, he's one of the criminals, so... If you're saying you like him, then you might as well just admit you did cocaine in the 80s, Key. Cocaine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Ah, <laughs> uh, that still cracks me up. No matter what. I'm Rick you gotta games, love Rick bitch. Games, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, okay, he's giving me a little bit of challenge here, but I feel good. I feel actually I do feel fine about this. I was gonna say, you know, I was gonna say, you know who also loved doing cocaine? Jordan Wolf from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I've never actually seen Wolf of Wall Street. Wait, what? A lot of people think it's crazy, but I have never seen Wolf of Wall Street. Dude, you're missing out on a good fucking movie. We did it. We beat. We beat. Uh, Destructicam. Fuck! I didn't mean to go back to him. Destructicam. Yeah. Now we got Caesar Phallus. But real quick, we got a new weapon, and we're gonna use it. So, I don't know if you noticed, but my Whoa. my costume color changed. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. There, uh, there's uh, a lot of Mega Man influence on this game. Nice. 
All right, so this is really cool because now I can let the damage be done to the bad guys, and I don't have to be right there. Man, you know, it is a lot prettier with all these colors versus what I was dealing with last time. Um, it, was that, it was that ugly. Well, let's 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 turn off the ugly real quick, or turn off the uh, just in case. You know, if it's somebody's first time seeing this, this is the ugly shit colors we had the first time. Like I'd forgotten how bad it was uh, until I replayed it. Yeah, it looks better with the colors. Oh, for sure. I, I would. I I love it with the colors. But I'm not gonna restart the level for a third time. No. Just don't. I don't have that in me. I love those froggy things. Oh, another <laughs> game that you and I need to play that we've been talking about that we like. I think we mentioned it back when we were playing like Earthworm Jim or something. Is uh, the Legacy of Goku games? Oh, dude, those were. Oh my god, those games were fucking amazing when I was like. You know, when Game Boy Advance just released. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so so because me and Jeff were talking about this, I almost walked right off a cliff. Uh, we were talking... I can't remember what we were talking about, even. But we were talking about what different classes each of us would use if we were in, like, a fantasy setting like that. And, uh... Oh, it was for Castle Crashers. That, God, that was a long time ago. Uh, we were saying, like, we should do a four-player version where everyone's playing. Uh, I guess now it'd be five players, but... Uh, have you like like when we were trying to figure out what uh class like how you would uh level up and everything yeah because like when i level up in games like that i am i put everything into strength uh and then i just beat the hell out of people with my bare hands so we were trying to figure out what what kind of way you would do it if you were to do it mine would be strength as well sick see see that's that's the right way to do it. Like they, the bad guys can't get your your health low if they can't touch you because you're beating the hell out of them. Exactly. And like I was when I was playing Legacy, I played Boo's Fury recently just for shits and gigs, and I uh, I was severely over leveled when I was playing as Goku because in the first uh, like that first segment when you're uh, fighting a bit against all the like the world tournament guys or the dead tournament I guess people yeah uh i would just level up like 12 levels over what i needed to be before i even fought olabu and then i just like fucking you know pushed his shit in mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember there was like um there was also the accessories that you could use to help you um, yeah the the boosters level yeah level up faster okay this is not the right tool for this job God, these those those spiky fucks are a pain in the dick because they keep regrowing around me. Oh my God! Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, so we're recording this like November-ish. Let's be real here. We don't care if people know when we record. Um, today I I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, but I uh, I made the best fucking action figure I've ever made. Um, I took the head off of Neo Cortex from uh, Crash Bandicoot, <laughs> and I put it on Goku's body. Wait, what? Yeah, it's it's my it's the it might be the greatest thing I've ever accomplished in my life. You said you put this on your Instagram. It's on my Instagram. Yeah, I haven't posted on Instagram since like fucking January, <laughs> and that's the first thing I post is is <laughs> a Neo Cortex head superimposed onto Goku's body and the caption on it is something like that fucking bandicoot doesn't know the reckoning it's in for hold on I gotta look like this <laughs> and while he's pulling that up I'm going on to the next fucking boss I am so glad I'm gonna be able to actually say I finished this game